This is part two of the Subaru transmission swap. We want to pull this hose out of the bracket there and then remove the bracket with these two bolts. Then we want to remove these two bolts that have the ground wires on them. Next, we're going to remove the transmission cooler. There's a bolt here and here and one on the bottom. Now we're going to pull it up out of the way and use a piece of wire to tie it and the wire harness out of the way. Now we're going to remove these two lines that go into the transmission. I made this piece out of a piece of metal. This is going to hold the torque converter on while we take the transmission what? out. We'll put it on a stud and put a nut over it. You can see on the other side how it just holds on the teeth there, keeps the torque converter from falling out. I'm gonna put a few washes in there and stick it in. Now we need to take out three bolts that hold on the transmission to the engine. And there's one down here underneath. You can see there, it's the one that the wire runs through. We need to take that out. And next, we need to remove the tires. Then we'll go underneath. This exhaust pipe needs to come off. There are two bolts on that flange. There's a bolt holding it in the middle and three bolts on the other end. I didn't get a video of me getting the three bolts. Then we need to remove this exhaust shield. There are four bolts that hold it up. Again, I didn't have very good uh, videoing of underneath the car here. Yep, I'm coming. So once you pull out the four bolts, you can get the exhaust shield out. Then we need to drain the transmission fluid. Then we're going to pull out this little clip that holds on the transmission shifter. There's a washer on there. And we can disconnect that. Then we need to remove the two bolts that hold the shifter on and pull that off. Then we need to remove the drive line. There's four bolts here. I've already taken those off. And then two bolts in the middle. One thing that helped in the back was jacking up the car, turning the wheels, and then putting the parking brake back on so I could get to the top bolts, which were otherwise hard to get to. We can pull the drive line out of the transmission and get it out of the way. Then we're gonna remove the jack plate. There's four bolts. The ones in the front have nuts on top. Then we need to remove the brackets that hold on the stabilizer bar, one on each side, and then I'm going to disconnect the struts from the hub. I should have disconnected the wire for the sensor and the brake line first, but it worked out. So after I had it down, I disconnected the brake line and the wire. So then we can pull out the CV axle. I didn't get it out all the way. I'll get it out all the way once I start dropping the transmission. So we have the stabilizer bar down. We have both hubs out and giving room for the CV axle. The CV axle is uh, pulled out on the one side there and I'll pull it out on the other side and we'll be ready to pull the transmission.